What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. We are here for the Portuguese Grand Prix in our F122 My Team career mode. I was about to say driver career mode, but this is the first time that this track is being featured on the channel. It did release in F1 2021, but I never really got around to putting that track in the My Team series. The schedule was already set. You can't make any changes. This is the first time that we are here in Portimao. And of course, we get very unlucky. And with this track being so weird in terms of elevation changes, you got to be easy on the throttle. Uh, just with my luck, we have rain coming in the back half of this race. Now, if you guys haven't seen the last video, be sure to go watch that before you watch this one. Uh, very, very good race. We ended up winning the race after starting in P8 due to an engine penalty starting p8 won the race sebastian vettel also had a pretty good race himself so that keeps us in contention for the constructors championship we're only a few points behind uh red bull now or ferrari i forgot who is in the lead but we're behind one of those teams and we are looking to steal the constructors championship this race if sebastian vettel and i are able to put out a good performance here in portugal we will take the lead of this constructors championship now after q1 i only put up one lap so i come in p11 sebastian vettel currently on provisional pole but like i said earlier with my luck we got rain in portimao and we got it in qualifying i did not prep at all for any sort of wet situation here in portugal so we just have some atrocious laps our first lap um we actually put out i think two laps and we're down in p15 and then on the second flyer here uh we barely are able to improve on our time it's gonna be very tough so the strategy here since it is raining in the back half of the race we're gonna start out on the hard tires and then just ride those out until the rain comes and then hop onto the intermediates hopefully some other teams will try and start on the mediums maybe they have to pit twice that'll give us a big advantage because i have no faith in my pace here uh in the rain but we crossed the line four tenths up on the previous flyer it did start to dry up a little bit towards the end of qualifying but it's not good enough for uh q3 so we're gonna be in a p12 to start this race i realized after the formation lap that my mic was not uh working properly so there was no sound there so i'm just gonna quickly tell you guys that a bunch of these drivers here in the top five have engine penalties so we're actually starting this race in a p6 sebastian vettel also suffering from an engine penalty so he's in p5 i'm in p6 let's get into this race let's see what we could do here in portugal try and take the lead of this constructed championship heading into the final race of the season but here we are for the portuguese grand prix i feel like turn one is going to be a disaster but we got five red lights and this race is underway here Oh, shaky start. Looks like we're getting overtaken by Magnuson. Possibly Carlos Sainz. Actually, maybe not. Oh, we kind of just squeezed out Carlos Sainz. There's a big accident back there. Do we have a safety car? Virtual safety car already. Ooh, Mick Schumacher out of the session. So, not sure what happened to him. I need to catch up here. Almost spun out there while I was talking. Verstappen's out of the session as well. So Max Verstappen is out of the session. That is going to hurt their Constructors' Championship chances here. I don't remember who's in the lead. I believe it is Ferrari. They might be in P2. And then we're in P3 right now. Actually, no. I think Red Bull is in the lead. Um, but that is definitely going to hurt their lead in this Drivers' Championship as Max Verstappen won't be scoring any points for the team today. We're returning to racing speed here. Okay, it looks like the problem's terminal. Oh, the car. Right, so Esteban Ocon, Ocon out of the session. We have a full-blown safety car. We're going to slow our pace here. I don't know why. But we got a full-blown safety car. I'll put up the replay. Esteban Ocon out of the session. So that is two drivers now out of this Portuguese Grand Prix. We haven't even gotten any rain yet. So looking, we're looking pretty decent right now. We're still in P6. Um, Sebastian Vettel's up in P4, and then I think Charles Leclerc, if not, Fernando Alonso is leading this Grand Prix at the moment. Uh, it is Fernando Alonso, in fact. And I've just realized that our ERS is stuck open, man. 
So, we will have, I guess, maximum pace, but we won't be able to use it uh, selectively here. As we get reset, we're gonna try and overtake uh, Fernando Alonso here. We're gonna have this battle reactivated. And we're waiting for everyone to start going here. And here goes Sebastian, or not Sebastian Vettel, uh, Sergio Perez. Actually, we might get the move done on him. As we got our battery stuck open, we're just gonna, might as well use it to our advantage. And kind of shove Sergio Perez out there wide as our tires are still kind of cold. So gotta take it kind of easy here on these uh, first few laps of this reset. As we have another yellow flag, Yuki Tsunoda out of the session, Robert Schwartzman also out of the session. So what it looks like, it looks like that on the minimap as well. His engine might have failed on him and then Yuki Tsunoda... Uh, just crashed into the back of Robert Schwartzman here, but we're now behind our teammate Sebastian Vettel. Safety car is out again! What happened this time? Sergio Perez dives into the pits. Might have had a little contact with Kevin Magnussen. I don't think I touched him. I hope I didn't touch him, but... Oh, my Sebastian Vettel's also diving into the pits now. What happened with them? They might have gone into a little incident under the safety car. I'm gonna look through the replays there because actually they might be on a soft tire so they might just be uh, hitting because now would be the best time. You're gonna get a free pit stop here kind of. They're gonna lose track position. Actually a lot of people are pitting right now so I think everyone who's on those soft tires have now pitted and they're going on to the hards. But we still have rain coming. It does seem like it's getting a little bit cloudier here in Portugal. And so they're going to have to stop twice. The people on the medium tires, they're probably going to ride it out until this rain shows up. But we're now in P3. Our ERS still stuck open. I don't know what the issue is, but it's going to suck when we need to overtake down the straights. And we don't have any battery left over. Alright, so we're getting reset here. We're going to do the same thing that we did to Sergio Perez. We're going to overtake Charles Clare again to P2. And we might uh, overtake Fernando Alonso. No, it doesn't look like it. But we're in P2 now. As these tires are still very, very cold, at least on the inside. Sebastian Vettel's down in P9, which isn't too bad. I'm pretty happy with that. Sergio Perez has made his way back up into P5 after all the people on the soft tires is pit. We got another yellow flag. Don't tell me it's going to be another safety car here. Nope, we got the green flag. Got to resume racing. We need these tires to heat up so we can start putting the pressure on Fernando Alonso. ERS is still stuck open. Nothing I can do about that. Albon out of the session. Is that another safety car? Was it a mechanical failure? I wish you can get updates on specific drivers, what's going on with them. That'd be very helpful, but it looks like he's on the side of the truck, so I'm assuming he just had a mechanical failure here. Starting to see raindrops here as we head on to lock 15. Those safety cars might have saved the other drivers because they would have had to pit a lot earlier. But now they can easily wait out the rain here. At least those who are on the medium tire, Sebastian Vettel, he's going to have to pit again. Which is very unfortunate. I think he's still down in P9. We'll get a teammate status on him in a bit. Uh, we're in P2. Carlos Sainz is now within DRS range because our ERS is still stuck open. It's still stuck open, so I can't use it when I want to. And it's there when I don't want it. Which is kind of affecting our lap time. But all that being said... We still have the fastest lap of this race at a 119.8, which isn't too fast, honestly. I'm surprised I'm able to do it on the hard tires, but uh, okay, hopefully right tires that sticks for now, because if it rains until the end of the race, the lap times definitely won't be getting any quicker. And we are just hovering behind Fernando Alonso. I've been screwing up a little bit, so I haven't been consistently gaining on him. We've gone to 1.9, we're now at 1.8. So let's see if people are going to start pitting here, getting onto those intermediate tires. And uh, Fernando Alonso is still staying out, so it looks like he's going to be waiting on the intermediates here. Check your MFD for a new strategy option. 
So Mark is now suggesting that we head on to the intermediates, which uh, makes sense. Starting to lose a little bit of grip here. Fernando Alonso losing his back end just a little bit. As same as us. Uh, Carlos Sainz not too far behind either. But let's see, maybe we'll have a chance to uh, beat Fernando Alonso into the pit lane. It's going to be kind of hard though. And we now will have the back half of this race in the wet, it looks like, which is going to suck. I wish I built up a better lead. Those two safety cars kind of screwed us. We probably would have managed to get P1 and build some sort of significant lead if those safety cars didn't come out. But let's see, is Fernando Alonso? No, he is staying out. We are going to head into the pit lane here. Is anyone else joining us? No one else is joining us to go on to these intermediate tires they are staying out so let's see whose strategy pays off here as we go into the pits Sebastian's in the pits too so we're running a little bit of a double stack Cyborg Force deciding to go early onto these intermediate tires okay nice beautiful pit stop 2.3 seconds so we're on the intermediates now let's see how much pace we got on these things so Fernando Alonso and Carlos Sainz in the pit lane right now. And I don't even think we're close to beating them out. They got us by quite a bit here. Actually, maybe not. How close are we? I see them coming out. Oh, never mind. We're going to get Fernando Alonso going to turn one. If we take the lead of this race, that pit lane is very deceiving on the minimap. But going in that lap early gave us a little bit of extra grip on uh, the in lap. Or the outlap. And now Fernando Alonso is behind us. It's Sebastian Vettel in P4. So, so far so good for our Cyborg Porsche at the moment. But we still have a lot of racing left. I'm definitely very slow on the intermediates here in Portugal. Uh, first time racing this track. In any My Team Career Mode series. And we got rain. Alright, so we are headed on to the final lap here of this okay, race. And Fernando Alonso has been right behind us this entire time. We haven't managed to gap him. Surprisingly, I've been doing pretty decent here in the rain. Uh, but because of that, it's been pretty boring. So that's why I skipped all the way here to the final lap. No one's really overtaken anyone. It's literally been um, me, Fernando Alonso, Carlos Sainz, Sebastian Vettel, and Charles Leclerc in the top five in that order since I beat... Uh, Fernando Alonso out of the pit lane But this is gonna be Great for us because I think we will win the race in terms of the constructors and we're also winning the race here uh, in the drivers Championship, but we are obviously out of that race now, but with Charles Leclerc Or Max Verstappen I should say out of this race. I think Charles Leclerc will secure the drivers championship in this race So we might get a little presentation here to end off this race but he won't win that championship uh, with a race win and I think if I'm not mistaken this will be back-to-back -back championships for Charles Leclerc. I'm pretty sure he won it last year if not it would be Max Verstappen but we are gonna cross the line here it's gonna be a P1 with the fastest lap Sebastian Vettel in P4 I will take it this is gonna help us tremendously in the constructors championship and now we just got the finale we're gonna wrap that up and we're gonna head over to season four or season three yeah so charles Leclerc wins the drivers championship i believe this is his second title not at his first but with Max Verstappen failing to finish the race, uh, Charles Leclerc is the driver's champion. But if we're talking about this race, I am going to take the top step of that podium alongside Fernando Alonso and his fellow Spaniard, Carlos Sainz, in the McLaren. Sebastian Vettel in P4. He started P5, so good race for him. He moved up one spot. Would have been nice if he was on the podium. But neither of us are in contention for the driver's championship. And with that P1 and P4 finish for Cyborg Porsche, we are officially in the lead of the Constructors' Championship by 13 points. Max Verstappen had a DNF earlier in this race. I think he got into an incident. 
And then Sergio Perez only comes in P8, so he gets, I think, four points for Red Bull in this race. McLaren is eight points behind Red Bull, so any of the top four teams here get a 1-2 finish in the season finale. They have a pretty good shot at stealing the Constructors' Championship, so we got to be wary of that. If we win the Constructors' Championship, it'll be pretty funny because neither of us are winning the driver's championship as charles leclerc already claimed it and i'm not even in p2 i'm the highest driver on our team in p3 and then sebastian vettel down in p6 the other teams just have one teammate carrying and then the other doing horribly i mean oscar piastri was a switch halfway through the season so i'm not sure how the constructors championship points uh work for that i think the old driver his constructors points are still part of the team's constructors total but yeah oscar piastri is down in p15 in this driver's championship carlos Sainz down in p7 sergio perez down in p9 and then uh sebastian vettel not doing too bad down in p6 but second drivers here playing a big factor in this constructors championship race here me sebastian vettel on top of that right now as we lead going into the final race of the season here but that is going to be the end of the video guys as always if you've watched up to this point be sure to drop a like on the video and subscribe to the channel uh but by the looks of it it doesn't seem like there's gonna be any sort of regulation changes for season three of our my team career mode series here as we are going into the last race and the fia hasn't said anything so we're gonna have a lot of points as you can see up top we got 8,300 points that we can use for upgrades come next season and then on top of that if we win the constructors championship in the next one we're gonna have a lot of money to use to upgrade our facilities uh sign a new driver or re-sign sebastian vettel still undecided on that with one race left to go here i think the next race is gonna be a big teller if we re-sign sebastian vettel or not we need him to come in clutch here in the final race help us secure this constructors championship for the team but if you guys are excited for the season finale and for season three of our my team career mode series be sure to hit the notification bell as well so you guys know when those videos come out but that is going to be it for this one guys and i will catch you in the next one have a great night guys